Welcome everyone! Today I'm going to be decorating my house for Halloween 2020. I have lots of decorations from Halloween's past and did not need to go shopping to decorate this year. Most of my Halloween decor is either from Dollar Tree or from my childhood, so this always brings a sense of nostalgia when I put these up every October. We're starting on the main floor first, then we will decorate the basement level, and then last we will add just a few spooky touches to the backyard. I'm dusting off the fan blades before adding our spooky spider. We put him here every year because the cats love to watch him spin around and around.
These pumpkin kitties have been in the family before I was even born. They were my older sisters, so I date them to be from the early 90s. Okay, now we are in the basement. We have more traditional Halloween decor upstairs, and down here we have more of a Day of the Dead theme. I set out a few VHS tapes and DVDs that are Halloween themed for us to watch this season. We don't like scary movies, but we really enjoy the more cutesy Halloween shows. Lumpkin the Pumpkin is literally the most terrifying children's show. It's so bad that it's an inside family joke. The graphics and the animation, the voice acting, the plot of the story, the music, it's all horrible and you can feel how low the budget is. Yet somehow I can't resist playing it at least once every October. On a more classy note, we do enjoy It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown and Halloween Town. This year, we plan on watching Kiki's Delivery Service on Halloween night. I recommend those three movies if you're looking to watch something more cutesy rather than scary this Halloween. If I could only choose one type of Halloween candy as my favorite, it would probably be a Twix chocolate bar. But this year, I've been more in the mood for Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Let me know down in the comments below. What's your all-time favorite Halloween candy? Despite popular belief, I made this when I was in preschool. If I recreated it today, it honestly would probably look about the same or worse. These critters having a Halloween party are really special to me since I remember hanging them up in the dining room of my childhood home. Another example of the vintage decor that we have are these cute Disney clings of Mickey Mouse and his friends in their Halloween costumes. Perfect. The last thing to do indoors is to put some of the cat's favorite toys into this jack-o'-lantern bucket. Since I put the bucket out, I wake up every morning and see that the cats have grabbed toys from it and sprawled them all over the floor, so I think that this was very popular with them this year. Normally, we go all out with the decor outdoors, but this year we're keeping it toned down because we aren't handing out candy due to the pandemic and we don't want to accidentally attract trick-or-treaters. So other than just adding some black roses to the flower boxes, we are only decorating in the backyard for our own enjoyment. All right, now that we're all finished up, I'm switching from my daytime Halloween socks to my cozy Halloween bed socks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it got you in the mood for Halloween, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I have more cozy autumnal videos on the way. Next up on the list is cooking some yummy fall recipes from the October 2020 issue of the Food Network magazine, so you won't want to miss out. I'll see you then. Bye.